Weston, I gotta tell you something. What? What? Oh, it stinks out there. It does. There's something in that dumpster that smells pretty foul. I've got good news, and I've got great news, and I've got bad news. The bad news is we are out of parts to work on our Cummins Swap Mustang. The good news is there's parts that's going to turn this car from awesome into absolutely epic. <laughs> Legendary, even. Historic. I don't know. We're waiting on parts for our Cummins Swap Mustang. So, what can we do today? I'm thinking it has to do with an army truck. You know what? That's all we need, army truck. Look at this big green fighting machine. This thing is absolutely epic. Now it's no secret, we've had plenty of fun with our army truck. We took it off-roading. We took it fishing. Oh, I squished one of my nuts to move my dock out further to catch me some fish. Did we take it water diving too? No, that's that's next time. But today, that it's gonna go full submarine mode eventually. Hey, full submarine. You can't be telling everybody about submarine mode like that. You know, that's a secret. It's like goggles engaged submarine mode. I mean, it can breathe higher than I can. So we're gonna see. We're gonna work that out eventually. I've got to fix a road, and to fix a road, you need gravel. That is where this big green fighting hauling machine comes in. Because it's the only thing we have around here that's got a dump bed on it. And now is the time to show you guys what I really bought this truck for. Or what I justified buying this truck for. That way I could drive it through the pond. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh my precious, where have you been? I forgot how much luxury this Look at this. See that luxury? That is, that is just, that is just full wasp is, that, is what that is. Okay, uh, yeah, I don't mess with Wasp. I will be right back. Hmm. That will do. Dun 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 dun. I I I. I'm gonna get you. All right. Where's this eviction notice need to be playing? Oh wait, there they are. Okay. Oh no, there's one brother. Some behind you. It looks like our truck's been jizzed on. Oh, damn it, Garrett. I knew I was gonna make a mess. Get in here, Dom. Let's go get some gravel. Oh my god, you're knocking off my camera equipment. Okay. I have noticed something severely wrong with this army truck, though. What? No cup holder. Here. This room? Holy. There we go. New cup holder. Are you turning your air conditioner on? Yeah. You know what? It's I think a little hot outside. It is. It's like 100 degrees. I think I better turn my air conditioner on too. There we go. This is a different level. He's got his on max AC. I got mine on kind of like halfway AC. But it's good. It'll work. Alright. Let's go get some gravel. Alright. Now let's go. Woo. That's a tree. There. That's another tree. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot how comfortable this thing is to drive. Like this thing's about like driving a Cadillac. Guys, it is about 35 minutes, 45 minutes drive in a normal truck to go over to this quarry. So it means probably like an hour for us. Now, let me explain to you guys exactly why I bought this truck over like a normal army, or excuse me, a normal dump truck. First reason, in a normal dump truck, you can hear yourself think. And we, we don't need to think. First problem. First problem. 
problem found. Now, Dom, this is the question. Do yeah. we trust the temperature gauge? It now says 240 degrees. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. I smell it. Okay, maybe we ought to trust it. Something smells very hot. I see white smoke. You do? I think one of our brakes is on fire. Did you check them? Uh, here, you want to take that? I think one of our brakes is on fire. Weston is smelling crispy back here. Which one? Ooh. Oh shit, it's actually on fire. Grab the water, grab the water. You dump? Yeah. Um. Probably fine. Watch out, my spray again. Do we have fire extinguishers? No, but we've got Dr. Pepper, so we're good. <laughs> Ow! Hey, see, all we're doing is just uh, getting the brake dust out of the cow. It was legitimately on fire. Did you catch the flames? Yeah, I saw the flame in my face. Did Dom leaned around the tire and he's like, yeah, it's this one. Oh shit! And there's a flame right by his eyebrow. Yeah, I, was I was sitting there thinking, like, coming up that hill, I'm like, dang, this thing don't seem like it's got much power. I was like, dang, this thing's a dog. Uh, you might want to wipe that lens off. So maybe we should let that go off. Just a little bit, just a little bit. It's it's only smoking a little now. Well, it's about as hot as you smoke. I know, I'm pretty freaking hot though. Holy fucking shit, dude. And the truck was like, okay, no water? I just look. I was like, Dr. Pepper. Shake the can, shake the can. I am changing the name of this truck. It's no longer known as a general. It's known as Murph. Murphy's Law. Anything that can happen will happen. And apparently anything that can happen with this truck is bad. I think the tire's falling off. Like, look at the drum at the bottom versus the top. Oh, yeah. So much for going and taking this thing to work today, Weston. You know what? It didn't want to go to work. It was uh, kind of tired. That's bad. You know what? She's just mad. It's probably, it's pro that fire probably had something to do with all the seaweed that's wrapped around the axle. I mean, I don't know where that came from. It's just, it's such a mystery. You know what it needs to cool this brake down? I really just think it needs a dip. You know, if we just took it through the water, that'd cool that brake right down. Well, I mean, Silver Creek is right down the road. We could just take it through Silver Creek. You ever have just an unquenchable thirst? Or an army truck that's on fire? Fire retardant. Okay, yeah, it works. And, uh, yep, mine works too. Not sponsored by Dr. Pepper, but uh, we still enjoy the product. And so does our army truck. The brake isn't locked up though. It's not the brake. The wheel bearing went bad because I felt kind of something right before I pulled off. I'm like, it kind of like jerked for a second. I'm like, what was that? And then when I looked down at the gauges, the temperature gauge says it's overheating, which, you know, we're, that's a totally different issue. We're going to tackle that at a different time. <laughs> we're just not even going to worry about that. We're going to ignore it. But here, come here. Look, look, at this. look how d tilted in the tire is. Like how tilted out the tire is. It's falling off. Like, to be honest, when we take it home, it might fall off. It's hot out here. Anyway, I got something in my mouth. All right, guys. We've given it a good 30 minutes to cool down, and now we've got a fire extinguisher to use. So, we're gonna try to get this truck back to the house. Now, it's eight miles back to the house, and needless to say, that front tire is getting ready to fall off of this truck. So, we're probably gonna take this only like 10, five, 10 miles an hour. I know, it's gonna be a long trip, especially in a truck that has no AC with no wind. It's gonna be hot. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, the heater got stuck on while you was gone. Really? Yeah. How'd it get stuck on? Well, I was messing around with the blower motor switch. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, this thing does not fly apart. We'll see. Safety pin disengaged. Uh, no, no. Put the safety pin back in. Why? Because we do not need a cab full of white... How's the wheel, cab? Oh, it's wobbling a little bit. Wobble, baby, wobble, baby, wobble, baby, wobble. <laughs> Hopefully it'll fall off. Real speed. Eight miles an hour. That means at eight miles an hour, it's eight miles away. It will take us an hour to get there. Oh, what was that? It's getting worse. I can feel 
but I can really feel it like grinding in the floorboard. Like you feel like that. That's a wheel bearing. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, this is where it gets really sketchy because the time that the wheel bearing is going to be taxed the most is when we turn. And now we're getting ready to make a turn. Stop, you're going to roll into my truck, Wesson. I look down and there's a, there was a flame coming up here. It's not good. Yeah, we are driving down the road and I can just see Is it still smoking? smoking? No. Oh yeah, look at it, it's still smoking. That's like smoke. Let it cool off again. I guess we'll catch it on fire in another five minutes. That's bad. Don't mind us, people. We're just catching our truck on fire. It'll be fine. We'll put it out and keep going. Got much of tilt now. Yeah, it's bad. It's gonna fall off. I don't know if it'll make it the rest. It's out. It's not on fire no more. But I'm more worried about burning our truck to the ground. But guys, you'll know if the title of the video goes from we caught our army truck on fire to we burned our army truck down. You guys already get to know what happens. Us, we're just free balling us. <laughs> Are you ready, Dom? Yeah. You ready for a fire? Ready for hot chicks? You know what? I'm about to pay. Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> he didn't even hear me, did he? Why, are, why don't you drive up the hill, Wesson? It died. It died in a good spot, though. <laughs> At least it made it home. This has been an interesting day. Why is it dying? No fuel? Yeah. And back down the hill he goes. You know, I've just got to say, if this armor truck is not anything, it is entertaining because every single time I drive it, it adds entertainment to our life. It's caught on fire two times a day. At least it's not a third. Hey, look on the bright side. That armor truck is way too hot to work on right now. It would make me a lot happier if you guys would hit that subscribe button. That'd make the day totally worth it. All right, see you guys next time.